Previously on Dance Moms. We're going up against rivals. The last time we saw these people, you lost. Is someone timing this for real? You're holding up the competition. I would have disqualified them. First place for team group goes the girl in the plastic bubble. This season, there's a moratorium on all the extra activities. Dance is the priority. And where is Maddie right now, then? Maddie is shooting a movie. If you think she's a hot mess and you can't manage her, then someone I, else I want her to be better. I'm right. just done with this. Kendall. Coming up on Dance Moms. This morning, when I heard the news, I couldn't believe my ears. The world thinks that I struck gold with this group. I disagree. Listen up, because your life is about to change. Right when these kids are about to peak, she's going to turn her back on them. Want to get this dance over? OK. Shh. The little smart ass is trying to tell me that we're wrong. I'm not going to have Abby be mean to my daughter. She doesn't want to mess with me right now. Living on the dance floor. Okay, get undressed, because you're going to Yeah, stay be... stretched. Where's Abby? Don't you normally go straight into pyramid? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Last week, Abby made it clear that dance is a priority, so much so that she created a moratorium against all other activities. And yet, one week later, she's late. Abby is the queen of double standards. I don't want to go down those roads that we went down last year. No sign of Abby. Not a text, not a call. Here we are. <laughs> I need a damn teasing rush. Can anyone hand me a teasing comb? This is a waste of time. Let's get in here for Pyramid. Let's get the girls. They're ready. Let's do this. Abby is finally here for Pyramid. She's offering no explanation. Why do we waste everybody's time? D. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I have no eyebrows. This is a red flag. This mess going on right now, red flag. Something's wrong. Abby acted erratic last time we were in LA. LA makes Abby crazy. Last year, we had our worst record we've ever had because of her. Is it happening all over again? All right, let's get to the pyramid, shall we? Did you actually win, or could they have had points taken off for delay of game. You don't want to win because somebody's being disqualified. That's no way to base a career, certainly. Am I glad we won? Yes. But we can't count on things just going south for the other team. We need to be on top of our game all the time. All right, so starting at the bottom of the pyramid, Maddie. So Maddie's not with me for the next two weeks. Maddie is filming her movie. And for me, right now, the focus is on Mackenzie. This is her time right now to shine. And uh, who else was in here? Kalani. And next we have Mackenzie. Your feet, your lines, your posture, you don't see any of it. Well, I think she sees it. I do. I'm I'm her okay. mother. I'm then allowed to that speak. goes back to the whole reason is why don't you check that set? I want her to realize that it needs fixed. No. Last year, the moms kept yelling at me because I didn't stick up for Mackenzie. There is no way that Mackenzie's going to do that part. Maddie, you are the lead. I just think you I should think stick up for Mackenzie. I, I mean, whatever. Go to hell. This year, I'm not holding back. I'm going to speak my mind, and I'm going to stick up for my daughter. Next. We have Kendall. You kick the ball. Moving up, we have Nia. She really stepped up and physically tried to handle the ball. Next, we have Jojo because of being courageous and getting in the ball to begin with. On top of the pyramid is Bryn, our big winner. You did an excellent job on your solo. I think there's 
a whole world out there just waiting for you. Since Maddie has been absent, Brynn has been asked to dance as a guest on the team. If she keeps winning like this, she's going to be a permanent member in no time. This week, we're attending New York Dance Experience. We're traveling all the way to Calabasas. We can see the Kardashians. What, JoJo? Isn't that the competition where they talk to you? Yes, it's the live critiques. I like it. So, the solos go to two girls whose mothers think that they are the number two girl. Maddie's not here. This is your go-to girl. If Maddie can't do it, she can do it. Kendall, the first solo is going to you. The name of your routine is Meltdown. Now, you had a little meltdown in here the other day. I'm just done with this. I'm just done. I don't want to see that ever happen again. My next solo is going to Mackenzie. Oh, and the name of the solo is All I Want to Do is Sit on the Couch and Eat Chips. <laughs> when Mackenzie was like six, she made a joke and said, all I want to do is eat chips. I don't want to go on Broadway. I don't want to go on Broadway. All I want to do is just stay home and eat chips. People made t-shirts about it. Near the end of last season, you beat Maddie. But instead of taking that little win and saying, you know what? I am going to prove every one of them wrong. My leg is going to be higher than Maddie's. I'm going to jump higher than Maddie's. Every trick that she has, I'm going to have that trick too. Instead, I don't know what you did. You've been her teacher, so you know her strength. But the weaknesses that she had at eight and nine should not be the same weaknesses now. I agree. The weakness now should be balancing on the eighth pirouette. I don't think many of us can do eight pirouettes. I didn't ask you to, Melissa. I'm just saying. What is going on with you? Done being quiet. She could be a thousand times better, and I want her to be better. Okay, and then you help just her. make one excuse after the other, after the other. Then help her. Let your talent speak for itself, not your mother's mouth. Who is this woman? For the first time, I'm really seeing Melissa stand up to Abby when it comes to Mackenzie. It's refreshing to see this side of Melissa. The third solo is going to Nia. Your character is inspired by Cookie on the television show Empire. Oh. All three solos this week will be competing against each other for a solo in next week's competition. The group routine. The name of it is Hungry Like the Wolves. Ooh. Now, I don't see that hunger, that desire. I need everybody in this room to get a little hungrier for that win. I'm talking about you wanting to work on your feet, you wanting to work on your flexibility. I want to see more improvement, because Abby Lee's kids do it all, and you need to do it all well. The world thinks that I struck gold with this group. I disagree. Listen up, because your life is about to change. I'm going to form a new team. I have looked at minis all over the country. I liked my minis. I'm forming a new mini team. I want girls between the ages of six and eight. They're fresh, eager, and moldable. And besides, twice as many teams means twice as many wins here in LA. Why bring in minis now? Are you saying that these kids are washed up? I need to keep doing what I do. So that would be starting with minis and training them to be a junior elite competition team, and so on and so forth. Okay? All right, we're going to get ready for the group dance. Girls, come on. Last week was a gift. I'm incredibly frustrated. These kids have worked so hard, and right at the time where they are beginning to really make a name for themselves, she's going to be focused on a new team of kids. This is Hungry Like the Wolves. You're doing a character piece. It's not light, it's not fluffy, it's real. Why would she turn her back and then go to a petite team? Right when these kids are about to peak, she's going to turn her back on them. I don't know. She did this before with the select team, and that didn't last. 
I don't know how she's going to have the stamina to work with, with Minnie's. They're going to be the shiny new toy, and the old one gets shoved. It's the Velveteen Rabbit. Why is Mackenzie Lane not know what she's doing here? I am not picking on you. You know that you didn't know what you were doing right there. Stop sitting there watching everybody else get better and work. Let's get it together. Guess what? Mackenzie's a good little dancer. She doesn't dance like the other girls because she's little. And she's only danced at the Abby Lee Dance Company. So fix her flaws. Melissa, I want to know what you were drinking before you went into that dance studio, because you were fired up. And I was like, I like this, Melissa. <laughs> she would not be quiet. Well, no, the reason being is because she wanted her to jump up higher. Maddie is eight inches taller than her. How is she going to jump higher than Maddie? Well, I really like that, Melissa, that she was standing up for Mackenzie. You were not going to let Abby get the last word. I just wanted to let Mackenzie know that I'm here for her. And I know Mackenzie's going to get mad at me, but it is what it is. All right. I saw some moments that were incredible, Gianna. And then I saw Mackenzie, who was sitting on the couch and eating chips. Ding dong, sit up, Mackenzie. Put your hands down and look back. Thank you. And don't notice I'm not yelling at you. I found a new victim. I don't know what Abby's problem is, but she's really getting on my last nerve. OK, so we have to let the elephant in the corner out of its bag. Yeah, we do. Did you guys see on Good Morning America? The news is going crazy over Abby. What? Abby's been acting extra crazy these past couple days. And in light of today's shocking news, I think I know why. Abby Lee Miller, in serious legal drama, is charged with concealing assets and fraud. If found guilty, Miller could face a two Good. Terrible. Will she go to trial? What if the they process. come to here with the studio and arrest her? Look at Martha Stewart. Like, and look That's at... what I said. Yeah. I said they put America's sweetheart Martha yes, Stewart in jail. in a federal prison. Now it makes sense. This is the reason why Abby was acting so weird at Pyramid yesterday and lashing out on Mackenzie. She can't brush this under the rug. She brushes a lot of things under the rug, and she can't. She's not above this. This is going to create a major distraction. That's not good. Abby has a lot going on in her life right now. She has a ton of stuff that's being played out in the media. She has a new studio in LA. She has this mini team that she decided was a good idea to bring on. We can all pretty much guess how this is going to go. It's not going to take much to send her over the edge. Hello. Hi. How's the pack of wolves doing? They're hungry. It's cute. It's great choreography. Yeah, it's really, it's very unique. I love it. Oh, I don't know. My God, my oh. nose is itchy. What's that mean? You're going to hear news? What did you say it means? I thought it meant you're going to hear news. Oh, I thought you. I really thought you said, does that mean you're in the news? Oh, no, no. Stop. All right. Walk it into a pack of wolves. I'm a little surprised. She walks and saunters through the door as if it's a normal day. Not a tear. She seems normal, as if no news has even like, touched her ear. We need to talk to her about what's going on, though. Mm, it's yeah. awkward. Well, we need to ask her how she wants us right. to address it when we are asked about it. Right. Or the when kids. someone bypasses mm -hmm. a parent and goes right to the kid, because, you know, they, they want the unedited version of what's really going on. I personally don't think that Abby is guilty. However, this is going to play out in the media, and the backlash is absolutely going to affect our girls. All right, we have three solos going. Nia, Kendall, and Mackenzie. This week, all three of us are competing for a solo next week. I really need to win and prove to Abby that I can step up when Maddie isn't here. All right, Nia, you're up first. You're cooking. You need attitude out the wazoo. She makes a statement when she enters the room. You need to make a statement when you step on that stage. OK, show me what you have. Nia is doing a jazz routine. It's based on the character Cookie on that show, Empire. Now, if you watch Empire, she's sassy and sharp and strong. She is over the top. And that's what I need Nia to be. I love the idea behind it. I see a lot of strutting. I see a lot of attitude. I see a lot of, you know, performance. Do I see a lot of dance content that would be teen appropriate? I can't say I see that. A jazz solo for a teen division, 
probably is not a winning number. Like, give her something that's competitive. Yes, step to second, face the wall with your rear end to the back and twerk. Are you serious? If Abby thinks twerking is appropriate for a dance competition, she needs her head examined. Go up and down. Boom, and it's up and back. Face that way. No. But she's, Cookie is wild. She just doesn't want to do it. I can't make my students want to be better. They have to want it for themselves. How is Nia ever going to catch up to Maddie? You have to take the risk. You have to gamble in life. Get Mackenzie and tell her to come in here. So sit down. Slunk. There you go. That's Mackenzie. OK, show me what you have. Mackenzie Solo is entitled, I just want to sit on the couch and eat chips. She's lazy. Mackenzie, technically, should dance like an 11-year-old. It's the legs not being straight, the feet not being stretched, the arms not being properly placed. So this routine is going to push that kid to the next level. It's going to make her a stronger dancer. So get here and flex your feet up in the air. Go ahead. I keep almost getting kicked. Why am I almost getting kicked? If your legs are there and they're going that way, why is your alignment so bad that you're like coming back to me? That's what you're screwing up every time. Come on. If this was your sister, we would be halfway finished with the number. Well, she's not. Her name's Mackenzie and she's not Maggie. So, whatever. And what's the name of your dance? It is called I, I Just Want to Stay at Home and Eat Chips. No. She can't even remember the name of the dance. I just want to sit on the couch and eat chips. Hence, the couch. Is this not a couch? Could be a sofa. Could be a love seat. I just thought it would be like my interview. No. I thought it was I just want to stay home and eat chips. All I want to do is just stay home and eat chips. No. So the little smart ass is trying to tell me that that's not the quote that she said that we're wrong. I'm not going to have Abby be mean to my daughter anymore. I can't do it. Abby's not perfect. That's for sure. Abby, why'd you call Mackenzie a smart ass? Why? Because she just she's said... trying to contradict me. No, she about... said I thought it was I wanted to stay at home and eat chips because that's what I thought it was, too. You don't have to call her smart ass. Well, but you didn't hear the way she said it. OK, but I don't think you should call her smart ass. I'll never call her anything again. She said other kids would just remember it Kenzie. in two minutes. Kenzie. She's like, okay, well, we have Kenzie. 20 Kenzie. seconds Kenzie. done. Kenzie. Just calm down. Kenzie, you know how this goes. She's just being mean and rude, but she always don't is. I do want to do it. Abby needs to take something out on someone, and she's taking it out on us. But just leave my daughter alone. She doesn't want to mess with me right now. I know way too much. I know so much stuff. I hope she knows that. Everybody thinks that this is just another pretty face doing a dance. Till the music starts, when you turn around and you have all this aged makeup on, and we hear that ding, 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 then it's tragic. Be the character. Kendall needs people to not look at her as the pretty girl. She needs to be more than that. She needs to do something that evokes this stirring of emotion from people watching her, just like Maddie can. She's heard it before. She's heard it from the judges. They've said, you need to connect with the audience, get the message across. I just think she needs to have a breakthrough. <laughs> Passe turnout, plie air, irreleve arabesque, up and toe, pretty. She looks beautiful. We like what we're doing. We enjoy the process. It took forever with Mackenzie on here. Like, she gets silly and dumb, and she just starts jumping around instead of paying attention to what we're saying. Typical Abby, she's being super friendly to Jill because she wants to punish Melissa for sticking up for Kenzie. And I can tell Melissa's blood is boiling right now. Don't you find it interesting that Abby brought Jill in? Good for her. She should feel good about herself. Kendall, you could make this dance a winner. What we're giving you, that's a winner. Hands down. You need to win. Mackenzie! 
get on the tumble track. And I don't want any attitude, whether you think you're giving me attitude or not, you were. And I'm not gonna put up with that. And if you cry, you don't need to be here, you need to be in the mini group. Because that's what minis do. Abby's being tough on Mackenzie about straightening her legs. But we all know that she's taking out her legal problems on Mackenzie right now. And it hurts because I've always been so loyal to her. I've helped her so much through the years. You, you have no idea. I know that I'm a good friend and I'm a good person. I can put my head down on the pillow at night and sleep pretty good. One, two, three. No. Mackenzie, you're a disappointment. What are you doing? Why don't you know that? I bet Melissa is flipping out. She has supported Abby through all of her legal woes. I think she feels a little betrayed and is really, really angry at Abby. OK, do it the normal way. See how crooked she goes? Fix, fix it! it. <laughs> I don't know how to she, fix it. She, in the other room, she Was having fell. a blast. Stop making excuses for her, because you would have never made an excuse for Maddie. I'm not making excuses for yes, her. Yes, you do. Everything I've said, you have made an excuse about. Welcome to our world, Melissa. This is the behavior that our girls are experiencing on a regular basis. I don't. I just want you to care about her like you used to, Abby. I care. I still care about I'm her, sorry. but I expect more from her. Because if Maddie was any other kid in this country and didn't dance, she wouldn't have been in see a video. She wouldn't be in a movie. They would hire a kid that could act with perfect teeth. Let's go. I don't know if I like this new role of mother of the year that Melissa's taking on with Mackenzie. I feel like with Maddie gone. She is overkill. I'm trying to give technical critiques on her daughter that will help her win, that will make her better. Why has she gone off the deep end? When she doesn't win, it's going to be on Melissa. All right, let's see the wolf dance. Let's go, group, one more time. Oh, I like them howling. That's cute. Really oh, 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 gosh, heaven help me. OK, girls, it's up to you. We're going to competition this weekend. Can you guys win without Maddie? I hope so. You don't want those minis to come in next week and think you are losers. You know what? She has the dream team. Four-time national champions. Sure. Win or lose, Abby needs to not act like a crazed yeah, lunatic at this competition. Her behavior is more important now than ever at a competition. Oh, absolutely. You know, to me, right at this moment, she seems kind of business as usual. She's in denial. She's pretending it's not happening, but it's happening. I mean, she has so much at stake right now. She needs to hold on to what she has. The studio, her choreography, her winning team. It's like critical now, though. Abby hasn't really been dealing with her problems, and I'm afraid she's going to blow up. We need to stand strong for the team and for Abby. We cannot let everything we've worked for go down in flames. It's the day of the competition, and with everything going on in the media, I have no idea what the response will be from the public. And then on top of it, Abby has had this bizarre, erratic behavior all week long. I don't really know what to expect, and that has me on edge. I can't believe what I'm hearing. This kid's had t-shirts on that said, free Abby Lee. She hasn't even been convicted yet. And hopefully it'll cheer up Abby, because let's face it, if Abby's happy, we're all happy. Mia, Kendall, and Kenzie all have solos today. And with everything going off Abby and her legal problems, she's been treating the girls differently. She's been yelling at Kenzie, sucking up to Kendall, who has beautiful choreography and professional makeup. And Abby basically gave up on Mia's choreography when Mia refused to twerk in her routine. Kendall comes in, and she has this old-looking face like her grandma and I can read the tension and the stress on her face. Kendall is just not happy. What can I do for you? Want to get this dance over? Okay. Here? You own it, and you win, it's amazing. 
This stuff looks different from far away than close up. Let's not cause drama over it. I want you to focus on your dance and your knees and your feet. But Abby, put her on stage in an ugly old face and think that's going to make her feel good about herself? Come here. Take it off. And I think you should get out there and dance like you've never danced before. I am in disbelief. I mean, Mia's worn latex makeup. Do you think Mia felt pretty? Not so much. When do you ever, as a dancer, get to dictate the costuming? I think I will do whatever it takes just to spite Melissa. Come on, girls, I need you up here. Now remember, you guys are going to stand there and be critiqued. So it's important that you go out there and you're amazing. OK, let's go. Please welcome Nia to the stage, number 400, Dancing to Cookie. Abby made it clear whoever gets the highest score will have a solo next week. Nia's choreography isn't as strong as the other girls, but if Nia can pull off the sass of Cookie from Empire, then she might just have a chance of a solo next week. My first thought, I felt it lagging a little bit, and I felt you sitting in the piece. Yeah, in terms of giving that sass, you definitely worked your face. You definitely worked your facility. Good job. Keep pushing. Keep working. Well done. Please give a round of applause for Kendall. I'm just so relieved that I'm on Abby's good side this week, but there's a lot of pressure. She needs to go out there and win with this solo. Body's broken and I'm cold on the floor. I can't stop shaking, I can't speak anymore. I'm crawling around trying to find out where my heart is. And I feel like I've been used. I'm hurt, I'm in tears to learn how. What do you have to say, Miss Kendall? I want you to work on the emotion. You're telling your eternal story. So I don't know if I would have had that same pleasant smile. You're a beautiful girl, but play with that now. Show me the darkness, but good job. Excellent work. Give a round of applause to Mackenzie. Abby's been really hard on Mackenzie this week, so I hope Mackenzie really nails this dance and puts her in her place. Give a round of applause to Mackenzie, dancing to I Just Want to Sit on the Couch and Eat Chips. Abby was really hard on Mackenzie all week. Abby says, you know I have great technique. Yes, she does. Been a terrible, horrible, no good, bad day. I've been trying to keep all the monsters at bay. But I keep saying that people patting and winning, cause nothing good ever happens to me.
awesome. Let's sit here and listen to what our judges have to say, okay? Good job, sweetie. There's nothing I love more than a powerful, strong, dynamic performer, and you were definitely that today. Watch the energy through your ankles. You are working your feet, but sometimes the ankle is a little soft. I love the use of the prop. Good job. I thought Mackenzie was fabulous. I mean, it's hard to jump on the bed, do tricks, keep your legs straight, keep your feet pointed. I mean, it's a tough piece, so I was happy with it. Girl, Come on up here so I can talk to you. I feel like I'm yelling across the room. Kendall, I don't think that you told your story to the audience. She was right. Darkness, you can't go. Nia, I thought it was good. I thought it was great. When you flex a foot, it should be so hyperextended that it should be straighter than straight. OK, you, when a judge has to tell an 11-year-old that their ankles are soft, that's like someone taking a knife and just like whoosh, whoosh, in my chest. That's nuts. I'm really upset about the solos because I don't think they did a good job. The group routine better be bigger than life. I love the costume. Jill, do you think Kendall will think this makes her look dumb or do you think she'll be okay with this? Well, she won't be alone on the stage. All right, ladies, now listen. I gave you this routine because I don't see hunger in your eyes. I know that mini team is hungry to be a part of the ALDC. Are you? All right, let's go. I'm not worried about the group dance at all. All I can think about right now is Abby and her legal issues because when it hits, and it will, it's gonna hit hard. She needs to start figuring this out now, and she's shoving it under the rug. I just want to say that there's things going on. I think maybe you should maybe discuss with the kids, because I don't know what to tell them. Well, I'm not dating someone anymore. That's fine. I'll let them know. She can't talk about it, because she's in denial. She kind of owes some sort of explanation. I guess she hasn't reached that point of what's going to happen. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Do we pack up and go home? We committed to stay here for a very long time. And leave our families. And leave our families. We're not going anywhere. We need to be the best wolf pack there ever was. I agree with Jess. We're here in LA to better our children. Our kids have become America's sweethearts. I have to stay focused on the ALDC, on the brand our kids have helped create, and on my daughter. This is not going to throw us off our game. We have to show Abby that we can do dances without Maddie. Exactly. Like she said. So we are a wolf pack and we're ready to go kill we the other to... wolf packs. Give it up for number 403, Hungry Like the Wolves. Give it up for number 403, Hungry Like the Wolves. The ALDC could be in trouble. If Abby's convicted, she could face jail time. There's a lot of pressure on the girls to win today and to show everybody that the ALDC is still going strong.
competition's gonna be pretty tight. What you got for us? <laughs> I love the costume. I think the costuming is awesome. There was a little flub. There was some floor work on the very beginning. Someone actually fell. Watch that. Overall, I think it was an amazing job. Loved it. Thank you, judges. The group dance was really powerful. I'm just really bummed that Kendall tripped on her skirt because as it is, Abby already thinks the girls aren't up to their usual standards with their technique. The girls really need to win today. I think we're ready for some awards. What do you say? OK, junior solos today in fourth place today. I just want to sit on the couch and eat chips, Mackenzie, Abby Lee Dance Company. Mackenzie ended up fourth. She was less than perfect. Melissa, your kids' feet and legs suck, let's face it. In third place, the Meltdown, Kendall Abby Lee Dance Company. I'm very proud of Kendall for getting third. After manipulating and managing her costume and her face, I'm proud of her. All right, our top teen soloist. Third place, Crazy Swing, Katrine Rhythmic Academy. Second place, Team Solo, Cookie Mia Abby Lee Dance Company. Mia came in second place in the teen division with a jazz solo that probably really shouldn't have been in the teen division. I'm happy. The overall group of the day. One point difference. Let's get that drum roll going. Ladies and gentlemen, the Floss Divas Divine Dance Center! We lost the group. I hope this proves to the mothers it's about technique, and it's about challenging these kids to push themselves. This is season six. There should be a first place winner all the time. We did not have a first place solo. So, if I'm reading this correctly, Nia, you had a score of 292. Mackenzie, you had a score of 295.5. Kendall? You had a score of 295.7. So you are doing the solo next week. Nia placed second, and Kendall came in third. We don't have a competitive solo. You're not going to get with so many points. It's impossible. Kendall had a solo that was designed to win. Mackenzie, your mother doesn't want another Maddie. She likes you just the way you are. I don't. I want you to get out there and be able to do what she's doing. I think the stance was too young for me. That's what I think, but. Well, that's why we gave it to you, because it's easy. I'm not going to give you a lyrical routine and tell you to straighten your legs and point your feet anymore, because it's taking too much out of us to do that. Because I have a busy week with my minis coming in. Oh, god, they're coming next week. Yes, they are. Abby needs to stay focused, and I don't mean on the mini team. She's got a lot going on right now. The whole world knows it. She needs to worry about herself, not a new team. I don't want you to see yourself as a lone wolf. We are your pack. We're part of the Thank company. Thank you, I know. We came here, and I just want to go on record and saying we're a part of a team. You're not a lone wolf. I want Abby to know that she can talk to us about her allegations. If she's convicted, she could go to jail. She just can't pretend that this doesn't exist. All I just want to say, we're not letting Abby face her troubles alone. Well, it's <laughs> like we're here. Well, actually, I hate to break the tail, but you might be there too. All right, let's go. What do you mean? Did Abby really just threaten us and say we could be going to jail too? That's just crazy, even for Abby. The sooner she faces it and we can talk about it and deal with it instead of making comments like, you're all going with me. I'm kind of done. Like, you're on your own. Like, she's going to have a breakdown. I feel like it's going to like snap. Shoot. And let's hope it's not on our watch, it's because fine. it's going to hit big. Next on Dance Moms, the minis are going to come in today. 
Hi, girls. So our kids can't do work because she's doing something else with other kids. Kendall couldn't take anybody to the dark side. I will. You never taught her a damn thing. I could be in jail, so who knows? I think Abby has lost it. Her legal troubles are definitely too much. Finished.